What's an insignificant thing that triggers the shit out of you? The difference between Hulu's show volume and its ad volume. I'm literally considering cancelling it because of this. If you try to watch something to fall asleep to, and you're just dozing off, hope to heck you're not watching Hulu, because you're about to be hit with an air raid warning in 5 minutes. Security guard here. The amount of times I've seen people throw trash on the ground and walk drive away is astounding. People that enter an elevator before the people needing to exit the elevator have had a chance to exit. When I'm leaving a room and try to hit the light switch on the way and miss, then repeatedly miss it to the point of having to turn around and go back into said room and turn it off. I don't know why, but I could burn my house down. LOL. People who don't have the social intelligence to recognize when it's time to stop talking as I'm inching farther and farther away to conclude this small talk conversation. Actors waving coffee cups around in scenes where they are supposed to be full drives me nuts. Fill them with water or even epoxy for the wait for crying out loud. Edit rewarding to see how many people have noticed the empty cup. A few TV and movie production people are in the thread explaining why the cups need to not be live coffee, but there are a number of great suggestions that seem simple and workable. Fingers crossed that either actors are able to fake it better, or the props can give proper heft without endangering the production. I never run the stoon, not just putting water in them, and they always put the cup down on a desk, and you can hear them make the empty cup noise. They always take that first sip and practically upend the cup, when a cup that was actually full of liquid would only need to be tipped slightly to drink from. That upending infuriates me so much. Have they never seen any one sip of coffee? Aren't they supposed to be professional actors? How do they have this blind spot in their acting? What's the director doing in all this? I'm so glad other people notice this. What also gets me is, when they take a small sip from a cup that doesn't have a lid, and you can see there isn't enough liquid in the cup for that shallow of a sip. Also drives me crazy when someone is driving, but won't keep their eyes on the damn road. Getting a belt loop stuck on a door handle. Send me from zero to raging in a heartbeat. When a bathroom sink has a really big bowl, but a short faucet so, when you go to wash your hands you have to bust your knuckles against the bowl, to get under the water. People with no spatial awareness, chatting and always blocking the way, leaving their shopping carts in the middle of the aisle, etc etc. When I was in college, I worked in a student union bowling alley, it was a pretty sweet gig, and most of the people all students except for three were decent people overall. The one that will stick with me forever, though, was a guy named Wes real name. Shout out to you, Wes, if you see this. He was the only person I've worked with in my entire life, who had near perfect spatial awareness. We worked as one. Our main duties during the evening were doing shoe rentals, checking out lanes, selling beers and other drinks, taking money, etc. It was hectic behind the counter for just two people on busy nights. But we worked in absolute harmony. We always knew where the other person was. We could toss shoes to each other the way pro basketball players do no look passes. Never bumped into each other. Never spilled beers dodging each other. Working with Wes was the most oddly enjoyable job experience I've ever had. Every night was like an unrehearsed ballet that still went perfectly. You should marry Wes. That you, Wes. Me happily printing documents all day long. Me trying to scan a document. Scan a message. This computer not found. Please make sure this computer is connected to the printer scanner. Mother Ducker. I've been connecting to this printer all day. Are you really not going to scan for me right now? Or the classic printer won't scan. Because it's out of ink bullshit too. Out of magenta. Would you like to print in black and white? Yes. Duck you. Out of magenta. I've had a printer refuse to print anything, because the color ink is out. Like, I never use the freaking color. Why is it out? And why the heck does black and white not work instead? People who sit close to me in a near empty restaurant. It's like parking away from everyone else in a parking lot, and you come back and now there's a cluster of cars around yours. Mate. This drives me insane also, and it happened only just the other day. I've gone to the supermarket early doors to collect my wife's prescription. 
I park up in a relatively empty car park only for this thing but to swing into the very next space when there was 30 or so at the side. In front and behind. They even had the audacity to smile and say good morning as my caveman DNA started to rise. For me it's people pulling out in front of me on the road when there is no one behind me for miles. Like I get you have to quick get in when there is heavy traffic flow. But you cold waited 5 seconds and had all the room you needed to pull onto the road. Writing with a dull pencil and then trying to erase it with an eraser that doesn't work and puts color on the page. Those hard as rock liar erasers. Sitting down in a chair and feeling someone else's residual body heat or a public toilet. Ghost cheeks. When I'm behind people who are walking just that bit slower I'd have to jog or at least power walk to get past them or I have to go at a really uncomfortable slow pace. These are also the people who end up impossible to pass because they are weaving all over the place or hogging the pavement. I get unreasonably, unacceptably frustrated and angry fast and then they literally have no self-awareness. So you're walking behind them at an awkward slow pace trying to get around them for way too long. This is one of the many reasons I hate Disneyland and the grocery store. Families of five holding hands at Disneyland. Walking down Main Street. When you clean glass and streaks remain after. Just put rubbing alcohol in a spray bottle and use a microfiber cloth. I own a cleaning business and I've tried every product. This works the best. Noticing my own heartbeat. Oh no. Here I go again. Edit you guys are giving me all kinds of panic fuel. People who feel that they have to swing wide into my lane when making a standard 90 degree turn with a regular vehicle, only tractor trailers need to do this. Everyone else stop it. Car dealerships that put their logo on every car. Pay me for advertising or get your shitty logo off the car. I refuse to buy a car unless they will remove it for free. I refuse to buy a car unless they will remove it for free. Good on you. That shit is rotten. To unskippable ads at the beginning of a YouTube video. Duck you YouTube. Those suck. But I also gotta say try the free trial of YouTube Premium. Or the help YouTube by answering a survey. Get the duck out with that. It. Let me watch my videos in peace FFS. When I park far away from others in a nearly empty parking lot between the lines. Occupying exactly one space and come out to find someone parked right next to my driver's side door. I didn't do anything to you. Why did you decide to do that? There are over 50 empty spots. This happened to me when I was 9 months pregnant, but they parked over the line and so close. In an empty parking lot no less. I literally had to crawl in from the passenger side. I will never forget that. Probably the angriest I've ever been in my life lol. I had this happen to me. Except crawling in via the passenger side wasn't going to happen tiny car. So I waited. Because I had no choice. When the lady came out I got my Karen on. And gave her a lecture about using the white lines as a guide to where the car should end up when parked. I was 8.5 months pregnant. It was hot. And I was over it. The lady was embarrassed. But I didn't care. Still don't feel guilty. When I peel a boiled egg. If chunks of the egg stick to the shell as I'm removing it, it makes me want to throw the whole thing across the street. When people smack their lips when they chew, it's just gum. But why does it sound like a dog trying to eat peanut butter? Recapture. Lag internet. Tell me something about yourself. Lag internet. When a page seems like it's completely loaded and then the second you attempt to click a link, the whole page shifts and you've clicked an ad. I don't know why, if someone says to me don't be angry, and I'm not angry, it will infuriate me immediately. People with absolutely no self-awareness or regard to someone else's feelings. If your kid is sick, please do not have a cookout on the weekend inviting everyone over. Do not tell us to come over and eat hangout, and then once arriving, tell us that your kid has been sick but everyone else is fine. So ducking selfish. Taking off your pants at the end of the day, and for some reason your heel gets stuck in the leg and the fabric has just enough friction to not slide past, and so you're standing there in the duck iron bathroom jumping around, like you're on fire screaming at some textiles. 
People who take up more than one parking space with their vehicle. All of you who don't use your signals when driving. Duck I use them. Even in the turning lane. You have no excuse. When someone turns the TV on. Cranks the volume up. And not two seconds later gets up and leaves the room without returning. Apostrophe is in the wrong place. I didn't get it. When my computer tells me I don't have permission to do something. Excuse me. You know that electricity you run on. Look what I have permission to do. People who play music on speaker in public. People giving up the right of way when driving. You're not being nice and polite. You're being stupid and dangerous. The worst is when it's their turn. But they wave you on like you're holding them up. Chill man. I still have to stop at this stop sign. Damn. It's also annoying as a pedestrian when someone slows and waves you across, so you have to dad run it, and most of the time they'll do it with zero cars behind them. Had they just kept going I'd have a completely normal window to cross. Touching glass when there's a handle or latch on the glass to use. Not putting shopping carts back in the queue or return kiosk. Are you sure you'd like to unsubscribe from this? ML. When I say no mayo, and there's mayo on it anyway, it's pickles for me. You can't just take them off. That nasty flavor still remains. People who eat with their mouth open. The way young children drink. Gulp 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 gasp gasp gulp gulp gulp. And the air afterwards. Like their soul is being exorcised from the hydration. When someone has explained something to me, and I understand it, but they keep going. And I'm sitting there saying yep got it understood I understand over and over after every sentence like some kind of bad video game dialogue but they just keep going. People talking loudly on their phones in public. Edit even worse are the ones who talk to people on speakerphone in public. Cutting off other people's sentences. Especially if the interrupter has been talking for a while already. Had a co-worker cut me off 5 times in a row as a joke and I've basically stopped. Having conversations with her. Know your audience. Littering. It tells me so much about you right away, and it's easily avoidable. As an inner city school teacher I can't explain how bad this problem is becoming. Calling off all the time. Doing it now, and then is fine. But people who call off every week for two days screwing over their other employees really starts to irritate me. I know there are a lot of FO exceptions, but I feel like these people exploit those exceptions and people just seem to be like, okay, people who show up extremely late to plans. Bonus points if the plans are the late person's idea. I get the courteous 15 to 30 minutes late. Honestly 30 minutes is way I, I too late for me, but I'm forgiving enough. But after that though not only are you being rude, but to me you're saying that your time is more valuable than mine and that's just disrespectful. I'm shocked at how many times people will be an hour or longer late to plans. It bugs me to death. People who name their children common names, but arbitrarily spell them completely different just to be unique. My name is Michael, but it's spelled Michael. I feel bad for the child who will never have a new teacher say their name correctly during roll call their entire life. Tell us something about yourself. It is should have. Could have. Would have. The contractions are shoulder cold world. Not of. I don't comment. But it makes my eye twitch. People who just say hey or something in work chat. Go ahead and type out what you want from me. Seeing someone I work with giving little to no effort. I would go to work and dread being on the same shift as let's call her Sarah. She was new, so I gave her the benefit of the doubt. Her job was to take food to the tables. That's it. Not to take orders or open tabs. She would open a tab and not charge them. Move the tab and confuse me and the servers. And not to mention she would come in late. And when she did work she did it with the most rank attitude. I never said anything out of the way mean to her. She gets huffy with anyone who asks her to speak up I've noticed. Even customers and management. So I had to ask her to speak up and she got mad and walked away in front of me and MGMT. She threw a hissy fit because she had to go home cause we had too many working that day. She threw cups across the counter into the kitchen out of pure anger. And nobody can keep up with the lies she tells us. 
On top of that she asked me, I'm a female are you pregnant, or are you just fat? I had to play it cool cause I needed the job. But I just want to say something nasty to get her back. I will accept any witty comebacks. Family members lightly touching my back. My misophonia. It's my problem, and not anyone else's. But my do eating sounds drive my insane. A phone call, and if it's a video call, I can feel my soul leaving the body, 